Hi, I'm Luna. I'm gonna read. Geronimo Stilton, a happy mouse vacation for Geronimo. Kids only special activity inserts. Pinky Pick games to play on vacation. As suggested by Pinky Pick. Young mice take notes. Always ask for your parents' permission before you start any of the games. Sunshiny games. Cloud shapes. You'll need a meadow, the sky. Lie down on the grass or on the blanket. On your back, on your back with your snout in the air. Look at the clouds and try to find a some one with the most unusual shape. A bird, a plane, a mouse, or even a slice of cheese. Searching for buried paws, you'll need ideally a sandy beach, a belly bucket full of sand, or flower will work. Each player takes a turn sticking his paws under the sand, keeping them slightly apart. Then paws still under the sand, he must try to make them touch. Don't be fooled. This not this. Easy at the sound. Catch that shadow. You'll need a meadow, lots of friends, a sunny day. Dive into the pears. Each player must try to step on her tim tim timest shadows. The winner is the player whose shadows never get stepped on. The mouse clock. You'll need a lots of friends, a playground, a wall. One of the players stands at the wall, <coughs> facing it so she can't see the others. The rest of the players stand several feet behind her. <coughs> the rodent near the wall shouts, "The mouse clock goes tick tock!" As she's shaking, all the others run toward her. The minute she's finished, she turns around. The other must freeze on the spot. If the player is caught moving or wobbling, it, he takes the place of his rodent at the wall. If no one is caught, then he, then the mouse mouse farthest away must go to the wall. The play the game continues until one player touches the back of the players at the wall. He is the winner. <coughs> the twins game. You need a lots of friends and open space. A whistle. Choose a mouse to be the referee and give him a whistle. The other players dived into the pairs of twins. Then everyone starts around all over the place. Every time referees the blows whistle, each pair must grab, pause, sit down, and shout "Twins!" The last couple to come together is out of the game. The game continues until the last remaining pair up is declared the winner. The burning hot cheese ball. You'll need one ball, lots of friends. Standing in a circle, the players pass the ball around as they passing. They sing, "Pass the cheese if you please, pass the cheese if you please. do not drop in the pot. Pass the cheese is burning hot." At the end of the round, the player left holding a ball is in play. The last remaining player is the winner. The frog and the shark. You'll need one ma one young mouse and one adult. The sea, a lake, or a swimming pool, a pair of inflatable water wings. The mouse puts on the inflatable water wings. She splashes into the water and shouts. Ribbit, just like a frog. The adult dives in after a young mouse. He splashes after a frog, pretending he's a shark. Holy cheese! Watch those teeth. You make me sick. You'll need a big space and lots of friends. One of the players pretends a part of his body, paw, ear, tail, neck, has glue on it. He sticks that part. This part onto the, another player. Now two have to walk, run, sit down, and get up without coming unstuck. <clears throat> Any player who brushes against the first glued pair sticks to them. <clears throat> to the more players who get glued on the celery gets. <clears throat> The 
The Marble Maid. Eunice and Marble are standing beside a small shelf on some water. Trace a long white worm. Mar- wild marble track on the beach with lots of curves, some holes, a few, <coughs> a few bumps. Put up some sand banks along the track side to keep our marble in sight. You may want to ask an adult to help you dig. Marta's, Marta's finish lines. Now each player shoots the marble and the race is on. The relay race. You'll need lots of players, two poker chips, a metal beach or play or playground, and a big rock. Place the rock on the ground. The stands about fifty feet away from the rock. Dive the place into two teams without a number of playing team. Each team, <coughs> each team gives a poker chip to one of its members who runs toward the rock, touches it. And runs back to the next player. The next player takes the poker chip and runs to the rock and back. The team that runs fastest wins the game. Give away water ball. You'll need a softball, <coughs> a lake or pool, a lot of friends. The more, more the better. And then of the old mouse for lifeguard. Make a wide circle in the water with one player standing in the middle. The other player throw the ball to one one another over the head on the of the middle player who tries to catch the ball in the midair. If he if she gets it, she can leave the middle of the circle and the player who throw the ball takes her place. If the ball falls into the water, the one who threw it has was stunned in the middle. The rain dance. You'll need a shoebox, pebbles, clear tape, and colored markers. Decorate the shoebox with the markers. Then write the word "rain box" on the outside. Place a puffle of pebbles inside the box. Then put the lid on and seal it with the tape. Now begin to dance in the circle, shaking in the rain box. Look up in the sky. Are those storm clouds or up there? If not, keep those pops tapping. A hop, a skip, and a sack. You'll need lots of players, lots of decks, and a matter of a beach. Mark the race、uh, starts and finish lines. Each player gets into the sack and tries to hop or jump the finish line. Whoever gets the first wins. Book it. You'll need lots of players and lots of books. A ready to race. Mark the starts and finish lines. Each player must run with a book between his knees. If the book drops, the player must go back to the starting line and begin again. The egg race. You will need lots of players, lots of te- teaspoons, lots of eggs. Mark the race, starters, and finish lines. Each player takes one egg and one teaspoon. The egg must be balanced inside the teaspoons, one for each rodent. Every mouse must be ra- run in the race with the teaspoons in its paws. If the Egg falls off. The player is de- disqualified. Rainy day games. Ghost party. You need a room, some old sheets, a pair of scissors, and lots of friends. Ask an adult to help you. Spread a bunch of sheets on the floor. One on each sheet, cut out holes for two eyes and a mouth near the center of the sheet. When you're finished, drape the sheet over yourself so that <clears throat> you can see out the eye holes. Wave your paws about and make some scary sounds. Now ask of your friends to be judge. Hold the contest to decide who makes the scariest ghost mouse. Say boo. A chain of little mice. You'll need some long strips of white paper, a pair of scissors, and colored markers. Ask an adult to help you. Fold the strip of paper several times so that it looks like an arcade. On the first fold, draw an lo- outline of the mouse. Its paw must reach the edge of the paper on both sides. With the help of an adult, cut all around the drawing, leaving out the bit. Miss where the upper touch, upper part touches the paper's edge. Now unfold the paper, and you'll have the chain of mice holding the one another spot. Color the paper chain and hang it on the wall.
Sock Theater. You'll need some old socks, scraps of colored clothes, glue, a pair of scissors, and a lot of friends. Ask an adult to help you. Take the color, <coughs> color clothes. Draw on it a pair of eyes, a mouth, and a strips for the hair. Hop them out and glue them onto the socks at the toe end. Now put the put your paw inside the socks and hand it to your new friends. Use a funny voice to make your puppet talk. I can even give a funny name, like a smelly bar or holy toes. Gather up your all of your friends together and put on the sock puppet show. Blind is a mouse. You'll need a blindfold. Lots of friends. Blindfold one of the players. Turn him slowly around and around at least ten times. Then let him go. The player must try to catch one of other players. Then you must guess which friend it is by touch just by touching him. If he guesses correctly, the player who has been caught will take this place. Doggy make over. You'll need a few magazines, a sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, and one gl- and glue. Ask an adult to help you. Cut out any pictures of dog you find in the magazine. Then cut out the different dog parts: the tail, the e- ears, the head, the body, the legs. On a piece of a paper, create new kind of dog by gluing together the different body parts: the tail from the one dog, the ears from the other dog. It- Now make a funny name of your new dog, like Cockapoodle or the Bull Poodle, Bull Noodle. Name that show. You'll need lots of friends or a timer or a watch with a second hand. One of the players leaves the room. The rest of the players think the name of the television show. When the players come back, player come back. The other tries to act out the name. The player can ask questions, but the others can only ha- answer yes or no. When the f- player finally guesses correctly, another player takes her place. The one who takes the last amount of time to guess the right shoe wins. The secret code: You'll need pencil and paper. Choose nimbly this font to write in secret codes. Here's an example of a very secret code you can see. You can use with your best friend. Each letter has been replaced a number: A one, B two, C three, D four, E five, F six, G seven, H eight, I nine. J ten, K eleven, L twelve, M thirteen, N fourteen, O fifteen, P sixteen, Q seventeen, R eighteen, S nineteen, T twenty, U twenty one, V twenty two, W twenty three. X twenty four, Y twenty five, Z twenty six. For example, hello, I am Geronimo becomes eight five fifty twelve twelve twenty four fifteen Fifteen, fourteen, nine, thirteen, fifteen. Here's another code. Replace each letter with the following one, like this. For example, hello, I am Jaranima becomes I F M M P J B N H F S P N J N P. Here's another more compl- complicated code. Each letter has been con- corresponding symbol. For example, hello, I am Jaranima becomes inked and send blah blah blah. I don't know. Sorry. Invent your own personal code. Remember, any code can work as long as you follow the part pattern. Invent your own personal code. Can you squeak it? 
you will need lots of friends, pencil, and paper. You have ever met a mouse from another country? Did you speak different languages in front to le learn new language, new languages? Here's、uh, just a few words, and perhaps you can learn in another language. For example, hello in French is bonjour. Hello, how are you? How old are you? Where are you from? Yes, no, please, thank you. In French, hello is bonjour. In Italian, is bon buongiorno. Jumbo. Guten Morgen, Konnichiwa, Inhola, Stervisi, Swalom, Savivona, Salam, Zasko, Zauskano. Get well, Dolly. You need your favorite doll, toilet paper, pa tape, and a piece of a paper. Pretend that one of your doll is sick. Then open up your doll hospital. Check your doll from head to toe. Touch her forehead to see she if she's feverish. Tap her knee to check her reflex. Tell her to say ah. Then make a bandage for your doll to using toilet paper and tape. Or write a prescription for the doll's medicine on a piece of paper. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe my channel. Bye.